Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over them, shuffle them, got ready so we can expedite this reading for you. So let's see what your angels have to say for you today. Before we're all done. Okay. Okay, let's see if we can get these up here a little bit more. Or Betty out a little bit. So your first card that you have is Goddess of the Moon. And what you'll find, this card is talking all about your intuition. I mean, we all have intuition. Some of us have just opened up to it at different levels than others, but we all have it. If you think about like when you're at the grocery store and, and, and you're standing in line and you, you've got two people in front of you and it's taking forever, you think. So you, you move to another line, but you think you should have stayed in the line you were in. Meanwhile, the line you switch over to ends up having a paper issue with the register. They have to change it. Meanwhile, the line you were in, you watch six people go and cash out and leave the store. Um, so what they're wanting you to do, and they're really encouraging, is for you to really open up to that intuition. And um, moon cycles are really known to help people open up to intuition. Like when you look at this beautiful card, she's got her arms outstretched. She's focusing on the moon. She's really opening herself up to that intuition. She's got a waterfall behind her, letting the intuition, that information just fall in on her. And she's just totally opening up to it. So what I'm getting is a lot of you, you're not really listening to your intuition. And I, and I get that you've got little situations that you're trying to get answers on, but I also get that you've got big things. And that if you would let yourself open up to your intuition, everything will just really open up and you'll start to get that divine guidance and those nudges and things that you need to be able to uh, move forward and really have, um, for some of you, I get that you'll have a lot of amazing, inspiring ideas. You might have new business ideas. Um, I get for some of you, you might have ideas to write a book, to change jobs, to start a family. And, and for others of you, it might just be a simple thing as far as changing your route home from work one day that saves you from sitting in traffic for four hours. Open up to that intuition because it's really going to help out in all areas of your life. And you've got it inside of you. Just open up to it. Next card we have is the Angel of Strength. And, and this is talking about your, your personal power, taking back your personal power, your inner strength. I'm getting almost for some of you, like, like you've had a, a conflict going on with like your spouse. And, and, and like almost as though you're not really standing up for yourself. You're just going, going along with what he or she wants. And just not really standing in your strength and, and you know marriages are their partnerships it's give and take on both ends you know sometimes your partner you know may take the lead and their idea may be the one that you guys go with and then other times you will have the idea and you'll take the lead on uh, what your decision will be but um, I'm getting that you know for those of you that that's a message just just stand in firmly in your own inner strength trust what you're getting and speak up for yourself. And I'm getting for others of you, there's like a conflict at work, something similar, um, conflict at work. And again, you're not standing up for yourself. It's almost like you've given away your power. So they are encouraging you to step back into your power, stand up for yourself, have that strength. You have it within you. Just let it flow out. And it's really going to help improve the situation. Loop, loop, loop slippery table next card we've got is the third chakra and, and the third chakra you know that's your solar plexus that is where like your emotions are housed um, it's also you know your life force energy so people that do energy medicine and they talk about chi energy and and doing the energy to it all comes from that third chakra but what i'm getting for most of you this is actually talking about your emotions i'm getting that a number of you right now are in a very emotional situation it's very emotionally draining you're very upset and, and i get for some of you it's it's a situation with a spouse like uh it could be something small like trying to decide where you want a vacation you know he wants to go here you want to go there or it could be something big it's you know wanting to start a family maybe you want to start a family but she doesn't want to and you know it's a pretty big thing for some people it could be a deal breaker but but i get that it's there's a lot of emotion tied to it um and for those of you that are at work in that stressful work situation i, I get that there's a lot of emotion tied to it but i'm getting is if, if you can remove the blocks here 
because I, I get that the that you're having a block so you've got these emotions but I get that they're like blocked up and held up I mean some of you are probably even having stomach problems having upset stomachs bowel problems um, because since you're not standing up for yourself and you're not really stepping into your strength and speaking up for yourself those emotions are getting trapped in your solar plexus and they're keeping you from moving forward into your heart's desire so if you come from a compassionate loving place with your partner with your coworker, with your boss in this situation and step into your strength everything's going to work out perfectly <laughs> speaking up stick standing up for yourself next card we have here is assertiveness and when you read the bottom it says stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to and again i i, I get for a number of you it, it's it's almost like you just aren't standing up for yourself you're just you know sitting back being very passive um, be it out of you feeling obligated to do something feeling guilty like you have to do it and, and you're miserable I get that you're just not happy because it's not what you want and what they're encouraging you to do is be assertive and, and assertive is different than being aggressive when you're assertive you're speaking your truth you're speaking up for yourself with compassion for others and being considerate of them you're coming from a loving place but at the same time you're also coming from a loving place for yourself and letting others know what you desire and what you want so that you can come to a, a compromise so you can come to a, a decision because you deserve to communicate for yourself you deserve to have what you want you deserve to have a compromise and they're encouraging you to do that because there is going to be a situation there's a situation that you're facing that if you really step in your power speak up for yourself it's going to work out beautifully and if not hopefully you won't I mean you're just you just won't be happy and you'll continue to be unhappy and and the bad thing is with the situation at work it can make you miserable at work make you want to you know quit it could impact your your work capabilities and then you could have your you know your supervisor looking at you in a negative way when it's really just because you're just upset and frustrated with how things are going um, and same thing with your spouse you don't want it to long-term affect your your marriage and your relationship so um, and I get that the, the, the relationship is not just for everyone that's in a marriage. I get for some of you that the, there's conflict with you or significant other um, that you're just in a committed relationship with. So stand up for yourself, speak your truth, and it'll work out beautifully. Next card we have is let go. So I'm getting for a small number of you that's talking about letting go of addictions I'm getting for some of you it, it, it's talk about alcohol it's talking about drugs um, maybe even some food addictions oh and if you read the bottom of the card it says as you surrender the need to control your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires and what I'm getting for a larger portion of you is so when you look at this card, you've got a little girl and she's staring up at a robin and robins signify new beginnings, blessings coming into our lives, good things. So I, I, I get that many of you have this, this new blessing, this new beginning. It's just hovering just outside of your reach, just waiting for you. But you're delaying it because you're trying to control the situation. I'm getting that a number of you are just, you know, really overthinking that you know if he or she would do this then this would happen or or you like say some of you if you're single and you've got someone that you're really interested in you in your mind have this picture of what this person's going to do and and how it's going to turn into a relationship and you've got a picture of who this person is and and meanwhile you know while you've gotten a picture in your head of this is this perfect person for you actually the person who's perfect for you that necessarily isn't what you envision is right there but you've blocked yourself to them because you're trying to control so much. So, so what? So for those of you that this is a message, they ask to, you know, we all have preferences, but they ask that you pray, ask for the preferences, the things that you would like, and then step out of your own way, and let God and the angels and the divine bring you what it is that you desire. So if you desire a new job, put that out there. Put the types of things you'd like to do and let it go. If you're looking for a spouse, a partner, a mate. Put together, hey, here's what I'd like in a partner. I need someone compassionate, considerate, loving, caring. They gotta have a job. <laughs> Whatever it is that you desire, list that. Give it to God. Let it go. And, you know, if it's a situation at work or a situation with a potential significant other or with your partner, you know, it could be that situation where you're just, you know, not compromising, not speaking up for yourself, overanalyzing it, wanting it to work out a certain way. Um, just relax. Give it to God. Let it go. It'll work out. And the last card we have 
is three of Ariel. And at the bottom it says, do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. And, and I think this ties in perfectly with everything else as far as, again, you know, there are things you desire. There are outcomes that you want. This is the time to speak up for those things. And although the card says, you know, doing what you love, what I'm getting for most of you, this is just, again, tying into speak up to yourself, speak up for the things that you want. You don't have to be the, the, the person that, you know, doesn't ever have their desires met or considered that you need to speak up and, and, and just work in a cooperative manner with others, come to an, an, an agreement, a compromise that makes you happy and your supervisor happy, you happy and your spouse happy, you happy and your partner happy because you deserve happiness. And you will find a situation will resolve itself, but it, it's all hinging on you standing up for your beliefs, you standing up for what you want, stepping into your power, um, and it will turn out, turn out beautifully. And I'm pretty excited about the intuition because the intuition I'm getting is gonna help a number of you in so many areas. It's not just gonna fix the situation and clear it up for you, but I mean, it's just gonna help you in all areas of your life. So many thanks to all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. I love all the comments you give and share and any feedback that you have. I feel with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.